Hey and welcome guys to my new series. In this series I'm gonna cover all the different groups of jobs, meaning like the tanks is one group, the healers are the other group, melee DPS, uh, fist ranged, and finally the casters. In this first episode I'm gonna cover all of the tanks. I'm gonna explain to you how each tank roughly works. I'm not, by no means, I'm not the master for each job, I'm just roughly telling you what this job is all about so that you can choose which one you want to go for next when it comes to leveling or which one you even want to start off with if you're like completely new to the game or you can just recommend to a friend um, with this video what job they should start the game with or well what job they should switch to um, before I just start with the first job in this video I just want to quickly ask for a like or dislike if you enjoyed or disliked the video uh, put in the comments please why you didn't like the video or why you liked it and as well if i forgot something and if i said something wrong you can just put just put that in the comments as well i'll read through everything and then obviously thank you if you correct me properly and yeah that's basically it also if you like my content in general you can subscribe to my channel i'll do um shorts every other day and well, nearly every day I'll do normal videos as well. Uh, I post them on TikTok too, or well, I post some memes on Reddit as well if you wanna check that out. But yeah, let's start with the first tank, which is gonna be the Paladin. All right, the Paladin has been changed just recently. Back then the combos were a bit different, but let's start with the basics of the basics. You will have two weapons. Basically, you will start off as a Gladiator and then you'll become a Paladin once you equip your drop stone, but it's not of a difference you'll basically have two weapons you can equip different uh, kind of weapons for each hand it doesn't have to be the same set so you can flex different weapons when you play paladin it's pretty good if you like your ultimates and you want to flex different ultimate fights weapons but yeah once you understand that you're going to be a tank who has a lot of healing always ready which is going to be this spell clemency you can heal basically yourself or other people um, at the same time you will be able to save other people with these shiny spells right here that are connected to this bar you can either shield yourself properly and give yourself more uh, mitigation cover other people or just basically give other people regeneration at the same time also um, mitigate them properly this is a great job if you want to solo stuff or if you want to do stuff with a friend uh your damage output won't be the highest it's actually the lowest i think out of all tanks but that won't feel too different when you're just doing normal content it really just matters when you're like at the highest of the high spots in the whole game where you're like competitive and you just want to be like the best of the best right so yeah what are your combos gonna look like mainly the main focus is gonna be that you have two kind of buffs you will have a physical damage buff and at the same time you will have a magical damage buff that will also grant you um, instant cast for those kind of spells now you also have a very easy uh, aoe combo which is just consistent of two buttons basically you use this one and then the other one above that's it um for magical it's just spamming this button basically which is holy circle if you like do magical damage within the buff window of wreck you scared uh i can't pronounce this so we'll just say wreck um so yeah let's just look at the basic rotation this is not the best rotation by the way it's just to really really emphasize the different buff windows now let's say you start with the wreck on the dummy obviously so that already gives you the ability to use holy spirit for three times until you have one stack left and then you can use configure and continue the combo there just pressing the same button i'm sorry for the brain neck for a second i was um yeah configure uh thinking about something else for a second i apologize <clears throat> so that's basically your whole ability damage ability power like magical damage buff window it's always when this wrecky get is being used now for the other combo you're going to use fight or flight for this you're going to use your one to three combo while pressing these buttons in between and also obviously goring blade whenever it's ready you'll also have the ability to use holy spirit once and then you can just spam atonement so it's basically just a one two three four um combo with some buttons to press in between that are like just shiny basically but once that runs out you'll have your rack again so that you can spam holy spirit basically it's just a back and forth between rack and fight or flight now once you use uh, these combos properly you can just keep using those you'll also after the dps combos obviously have some tank spells i'm just gonna put them all on cooldown so you can see which ones i'm talking about these three are your main tank uh, abilities you can also use arm length for your tanking 
and well also this button besides that you can use clemency to heal yourself or other people like i said in the beginning uh this button is pretty and you can shield your whole party behind you and this is your invuln button by the way which is the strongest out of all things now this is like the quickest run through of everything um the dash by the way you get only at like level 80 something it says in the bottom 74 which is very late but yeah you can also dash to the target um mainly i showed you like what your buttons are you have some buttons to press in between you have very straightforward combos but the difficulty from paladin is that you always try to put those two buffs windows at the proper time whenever they're ready you have to press them and then do your combos properly and not fuck up a single thing to deal as much damage as possible within the buff windows of the other people as well now that covers the whole paladin job now for the next tank we have the warrior the warrior is way easier to understand than the paladin you only have one big axe i'm using this weapon but i can use another weapon to make it maybe slightly easier to understand let me see where my axes are well never mind i think yeah i accidentally climbed over it well this is an axe imagine it as, as an axe so your combo is literally just one two and then six why so you can buff yourself and then you can do the same thing to increase this uh, up to 60 seconds and then basically you're just gonna whenever you nothing else is ready spam one two three until obviously this goes like down enough to until it's like 30 seconds and then you can just reset it with storm's eye now i'll reset it to make it visible but one minute again now what is special about this drop you will have felt leaf which is this bar when it's above 50 you can use felt leaf once that will go up to uh, down to 40 now since i'm gonna use it that's your strongest spell this button makes it ready immediately that's basically what you're gonna do within the button windows you're just gonna use these buttons to spam the same button that is just gonna be felt leaf in the end you can press this in between and the primal uh, ren you have three dashes as a warrior by the way but yeah this is the whole dps combo as a uh, warrior you have the same one two uh, aoe's by the way you can use the second version of felt leap which is like basically just for aoe's it's still gonna look like this for the special situation but yeah it's mainly just a one two three combo until your special stuff is ready then you just press everything at once and then you go back to one two three one two three one two three while keeping this up by the way, this goes up itself once you use the special buttons, the special versions of Felt Leaf. Uh, but yeah, that's basically it. That's the whole eternity, uh, entirety of Warrior DPS combos. Now, for tankiness, this is way easier as a warrior, by the way. These are gonna be your cooldowns. This, that, this. Again, arm's length. And then the special buttons will appear, which is Thrill of Battle which is gonna give you a higher region of like healing spells this one heals, heals you by the way so if you use this after you use thrill of battle you'll get big healing and if you use blood wetting you'll get a lot a lot of life steal this is very 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 strong if you're like alone and you just want to kill things you'll get back for life in two seconds trust me right now i'm not very low but <clears throat> trust me once you like get very low you just press this button and you're basically full life um now if you had thrill of battle ready now i can just use blood wetting and also reprisal you could use shake it off which gets buffed by these buttons and that will basically just shield you and also um slightly restores your hp if you use it on yourself you can also use it on your team uh on your party members but <clears throat> mainly you're gonna use it for yourself i'm gonna demonstrate it now you can see the shield down here it's quite big and also again it gives you some hp back so it's it's pretty good i would i would say Pal uh, warrior is equally as good as um, paladin when it comes to self mitigation but just slightly better because while you do all of that you're not gonna waste time casting the healing no you're just pressing off uh, global cooldown buttons so right you press valve leave you use blood wetting and then you use the next button 
that's why Boria I feel like is better when it comes to that since you're not wasting any DPS. Just a short note, I forgot to mention the invuln. The invuln as Warrior is basically if you are at 1% and, and this is activated you won't die. So if you use a uh, home gang you have to be very low and you have to be sure that you're gonna die soon because else this is gonna be pretty useless. Coming up next is the edgy boy out of all the tanks. It's gonna be the Dark Knight. The Dark Knight is, well, a job with a big sword. Mine isn't too big. Again, I wish I could show you a better version, but I don't have anything better with me right now. So it's gonna have to be this thin sword. Basically, it's all the big weapons that you usually see in the game. That's pretty straightforward if you understand it. Basically, as a Dark Knight, you'll have a lot of damage buttons. Basically, this whole thing is only damage. These two are only damage. This is only damage. And yeah, this one also helps you to make deal more damage. So your main combo is going to be the one, two, three that you are used to, used to from other jobs already. Blood weapon will unlock a good MP restoring uh, ability within the next few spells. So you're gonna ask yourself where am I gonna lose MP mainly you're gonna use it in this Flood of Shadow and Edge of Shadow Edge of Shadow is single target and Flood of Shadow is an AOE button now I'm using Blood Weapon to get my MP back and use Flood of Shadow now you see all of these shiny buttons it is because I reached 100 and now I have 60 seconds to use my uh, Living Shadow that I can use now. It's gonna be another me that I just summoned. He's gonna fight with me in the fight. So you'll have a friend. You can use all of these funny buttons. These are off cooldown buttons by the way. And this button will unlock a new combo where you just spam the same button over and over again until it runs out. Your living shadow will copy it. So basically you'll just have to understand when to press every single button. It's gonna be a lot of buttons like I said. But it's only during the buff window. Now the buff window is over, it's back to 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Sometimes you'll have this ready, so you just press it. And then 1. With blood weapon in between, 2, 3. Now, for the mitigation part, you'll get the Blackest Knight, which is the best spell in this world. You're gonna use it, you're gonna get a shield. If the shield gets destroyed by the enemy, your next button of Flood of Shadow or Edge of Shadow is going to be special and it's going to be dealing extra damage which is pretty nice and pretty strong. Now you saw me maybe using Carve and Spit. It's a single target extra damage just off cooldown. You can press it whenever it's 60 seconds cooldown so I'm not going to use it right now. The thing is there's also Abyssal Drain which is going to be AoE but it also restores your HP so that's good if you pull a big pack and you just want to recover health. Now these ones like these buttons are your mitigation buttons they're quite a few mostly for your party by the way so dark knight is a great off cool uh, off tank job by the way since you can uh, mitigate the whole party like i said very good and while well, yourself not that good but still this is like aoe uh, mitigation this is also aoe mitigation this is also aoe mitigation so basically you're very good at mitigating for the whole party your invuln is going to be living dead which is going to be if you activate it your enemy is going to kill you um obviously if they have enough damage they'll kill you and then living dead will activate and will turn itself into walking dead now what does that mean when you're in the walking dead form you will have to just recover health that's gonna be very easy by the way, don't worry about it at all. Uh, you are a Dark Knight so you can just use Abyssal Drain and just basically your other buttons will also heal you up pretty quickly since you get the buff. And once you reach like enough HP, you just won't die. But if you don't get health back while you are in the walking state form, you basically just can... <laughs> you can just die. <laughs> I'm laughing because that happened to a few people around me. By the way, I forgot to mention this. This is also AoE mitigation. I don't play Dark Knight very often, so... If I forgot something, please let me know in the comments and add that up. Alright, to finish this off with the last tank of our list. Well, the last tank is the Gunbreaker. The Gunbreaker has a 
pretty small sword that has also um, explosions to it you can shoot bullets with it well not really you still melee but basically you just have a sword that is also a melee shooting weapon so what is gunbreaker about people call gunbreaker the dps tank even though that it does more damage but gunbreaker i feel like is the closest of all of all tanks uh combo wise to a regular dps why is that you have sonic break which is just damage over time single target for 30 seconds so you're gonna always use it whenever it's ready bow shock is a similar thing it also does damage over time but it's more aoe you're also gonna use that whenever it's ready now to get the dots out of the way the damage over time spells let's go to your combo we'll ignore the aoe one again it's gonna be a 1 to 3 combo, by the way. No mercy is a buff for yourself, so use it. 1, 2, 3. And then you see shiny spells. The 8 button is gonna be in AoE, so I'm gonna ignore that. Now, what does this 3 do? It unlocks a new combo where you can press buttons in between. So 3, 4, 3, 4. That's basically it. Now, if you use the blasting zone in between as well, that state just is strong spell that you can just use by the way you can see sonic break is nearly ready so you just use it now if this is on cooldown and you have a bullet you can just use burst strike and then one of this bow shock is ready you use it now this is your basic basic rotation if you add blood fest to it it just gives you three bullets ready so you're going to use um gnashing fang once within its whole combo and after that's gone and on cooldown you're just gonna spam burst strike with the other button in between so let's activate our buff and then use gnashing thing with the blasting zone as well now it's on cooldown so we switch to burst strike and the buff window is nearly over now we can spam the dashes as well because they deal some damage and a normal combo finishes off with the burst strike and that's your buff window outside of that as i said just spam your buttons the one to three you get the bullet use this whenever it's ready with the blasting zone as well and that the dots don't forget about the dots and that's basically the whole situation of gunbreaker your mitigation is very strong as well you'll have nebula which is reduced damage taken by 30 percent that's quite big will have camouflage which is a parry rate for 50% while reducing damage by 10% which is also very big and very good for um, big packs and adds. Rampart which you already know has a, every tank has that. Aurora which is good cure for yourself and also gives you a region over time or a party member. So also pretty good for solo duties or duo duties. But you also have this button that um, if you use other buttons, it buffs it and then it'll just mitigate people around you or yourself. The invuln of Gunbreaker is kind of annoying for healers because you can just press it and now you see I'm at 1 HP for 8 seconds. So once you use that, your healers need to be ready to heal you since as you can see it's very sudden and not many people um, expect that to happen. Obviously you can heal yourself up yourself. Like I said, with the different button. But yeah, that's basically all of the tanks covered. I'll stop this now because there's a lot of animations. All of the tanks covered in one video. If I had to put them in a rating, in a difficulty rating, all of the tanks, I would say if you play them all at a fair rate, at some point, um, definitely Warrior is going to feel the easiest. After that, I would say Gunbreaker is fairly easy as well. And after Gunbreaker, I would put um, Dark Knight with all of its buttons. And finally, I would say Paladin is still the hardest. Why? Because I feel like the um, buff windows dealing with those, the timings are just extra annoying as Paladin. Since you have two buff windows that you have to keep, uh, keep going back and forth with. And at some point, you'll just maybe get confused or use the wrong button and then everything is fucked. Your timings are fucked and that will just fuck you in the long run uh, in regard to the whole fight 
the best job I would recommend uh, as a tank for a beginner is warrior because you just have good mitigation, good healing for yourself, good damage, great potential to do things on your own, you don't need anyone else. And as I said, it's fairly easy to pick up. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. If you like this video, let me know in the comments with a also with a like or dislike. If you like my um, stuff in general, just subscribe or well, don't if you don't. You have if you have any new friend who needs this video or who you think might need this video, just share it with them and well, I'll put timestamps in the video so just. You can put them wherever in the video and tell them well watch this part this might help you to choose for anything um yeah by no means i'm not a tank main i just taught you from uh the ideas that i know as a uh, regular ff player who plays tank every now and then once i get to the jobs i play more myself it will get more detailed obviously and very easy to understand no i tried my best still so I hope I could at least help a few people of you out there. But yeah, I'm talking about too much again. Thanks so much for watching. Check out my other stuff on my channel. I'll post more in the future and have fun. Please, please, please play Black Mage and stop bullying them. <laughs>